Hello, what is up? I'm so glad that you're here watching this because it means you're one of my fabulous subscribers or will be soon. Um, I just want to thank you guys so much for, oh, the dog's going crazy, of course. I'll be right back. I think the landscaper might be here. Nope, hopefully not the landscaper because then we'll have to deal with a whole other sound, but she's back in the house, no more barking. Okay, so thank you so much. I'm really, really excited to be at a thousand subscribers. It was a milestone I wanted to hit before the end of 2019, um, but I did have to take a break. If you wanna learn more, more about that, there's my previous video kind of explaining that I've been gone, but I'm still here and I'm coming back with readings very, very soon. Um, so. I've been saying for a long time that when I reached a thousand subscribers, I was going to do a giveaway. So let's do that giveaway. All right. So I'm going to have three prizes, I think. So um, if you don't want a reading, I have some other stuff. But like I've said in previous videos, I'm going to give away a personal reading. That's the main prize. But I came up with a couple other ones. So a personal reading, if you're chosen for the personal reading, I will give you a choice, kind of, I'll, I'll explain that later, but there'll be kind of a choice if you like one of the prizes better than the other. You'll have an opportunity to let me know in the comments. Um, but, so personal reading, this is how it'll work. I will comment, like reply to your comment on, um, on the video, and I will let you know that you're the winner, and I'll give you my contact information, and, my email address and you can email me a question and I will do a reading for you. I will film the reading um, on video. I will set it as private. So if, when we set a private video on YouTube, it will um, only be accessible using the link that is provided. So I will have the link and I will send it to you. So nobody else can see your video, it will just be you. If you prefer, I can do it live We'll have to schedule that. It might make it a little bit more weird. Not weird, but like complicated. Um, but if that's a preference for you, you don't trust YouTube, I get you. So um, that'll be an option as well if you prefer that. Okay, so that's the first prize. Okay, and then I have a couple of other prizes. So I talk a lot about crystals. Um, so somebody's gonna get a crystal package. I haven't chosen the crystals. I, once the winner is chosen, I will intuitively pick some crystals that I feel I'll tune into your energy and I'll feel, you know, what might be beneficial to you. And I'll put together a little crystal package. And in that package will be this journal. I have a couple of journals just forewarning you. Uh, the, the journaling is so important, I think. Anyways, um, uh, crystal collection journal. So this is where you can keep track of your crystals. Um, there's a spot in here to put the crystal name and then you can either draw a picture or um, have a picture printed of the crystal if you uh, want to kind of like log your crystals um, so you can keep track of which one's what because I'm in a lot of crystal groups and I see a lot of posts that say I got this crystal years ago and I can't remember what it's called okay um, and then on the other side so they all look like that it's just those two pages repeatedly you know for you to keep track of your crystals um, but on the other side, it has spots for you to, you know, put information about the crystal, where it occurs, how you got it, like if somebody gifted it to you, if there's a specific shop that you got it at, that we can kind of keep track and know where you got things from and, um, and, you know, in case you want to go get more from them. Um, or if you want to remember who gave it to you, if it was a gift, um, the variations, geological information, if you're into that part of it. Um, physical properties, metaphysical properties, so the uh, chakra associations that wasn't quite so easy for me, and then a place to put down your experiences with it. So, if you work with crystals, or if you're interested in working with crystals and you want to know how they like make you feel, or whatever, um, if you meditate with it, if you you know place it on your body somewhere for healing, um, that there's a little spot for you to put that as well. So, somebody's going to get a package of crystals with this crystal log book so that you can keep track of all your crystals. Or um, I might maybe, I'm either, what is the word that I'm looking for? Enabling, <laughs> enabling a crystal addict or starting one. I don't know which, depends on who gets it. All right, so the other prize that I have is for somebody who's interested in tarot. So if you're new to tarot or you're 
an enthusiast and you've been into tarot for a long time and you like to go through your decks um, and kind of get to know your cards one on one, then I have this one is a tarot journal, like a daily tarot journal. It's for one card a day draws, um, but it has a spot for you to either draw the picture of the card itself um, or you can, if you meditate on the card, you can draw what comes to you during the meditation. But it has um, some prompts in here to kind of help you associate the card to your daily life. It makes it a lot easier to remember the card meanings if you can look at the card and it reminds you of something specific in your life. It makes it easier to remember the meanings. But um, yes, yeah, so there's that daily tarot journal um, for somebody who wants tarot stuff. And then I do have one more prize. Um, this is the book that started it all for me. So I do have to mention, I created these journals. Um, that's kind of what I've been doing and it's kept me occupied for a little while. Um, it's kind of pushed it, it, that's kind of been brought to the forefront for me. Um, I was guided to start these journals with this one right here. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this book and why it's kind of so special for me. Um, I was in a Facebook group a, a while back, like maybe a year or two ago, and um, somebody was saying that they used to have vivid dreams, they used to have prophetic dreams, um, they would get messages, and then it stopped all of a sudden, and they were looking for tips on how to get it back. Um, and I suggested starting a journal and stating before you go to sleep what your intention is for the for the dream cycle that you know ask your guides to bring your dreams back ask your guides for specific messages if there's something that you want to achieve during your dream um, to put that intention down on paper first and then in the morning record it as well record what happened record your results the more you do this like the first couple of times like the first couple of weeks it may not you know it may not be as profound okay but the more you do it, the better it'll become. And I have to say that for me, the journey with intuition started with a couple of dreams. I used to have dreams when I was a kid. Um, I remember waking up, there was an earthquake on Martin Luther King Day, because it was a Monday and I was home from school and it was in January, it was like in the 90s, maybe 92 or 93. Um, you can maybe, if you're really interested, Google it. Um, but there was a big earthquake in California where I lived at the time and I was probably eight or nine years old and I woke up with this feeling in my gut and I couldn't go back to sleep like something something was wrong and I couldn't go back to sleep um so a couple of hours later we had this like really big earthquake like it was a really big earthquake it's like six point something or eight point something I don't I don't I haven't lived in California for a long time, so I don't know. I'm not up on the uh, magnitude strengths, but it was a pretty big earthquake, especially when you're a kid. It was very scary. Um, so that's kind of wh where my intuition started. Um, also, a few years back, I had a dream about somebody in my life who is not really that close to me, um, kind of a family member of a family member kind of situation, that she was pregnant. And I told everyone, I said, I have these dreams all the time. And I never say anything until after it comes true, but I'm putting, I'm letting you guys know right now I had a dream that so-and-so was pregnant. Um, and they just kind of thought I was crazy. There's like a helicopter. I'm so sorry. I'm going to continue because I know you can still hear me. <laughs> it's going away. Maybe not. Okay, we're good. They're, they kind of were like, yeah, whatever. And then um, a month or two later... <laughs> My husband was like, you need to call this person because you just need to talk to them. And I said, she's pregnant, isn't she? Like, I knew right away what he was talking about. And sure enough. Um, so those kinds of things happen. So if you're really interested in the dream stuff, I have this dream journal. It's called Dreaming with Intention. Okay. Um, but this really started it all for me. That conversation in Facebook, um, me advising her, you know, maybe you should start a journal. Like, I really months months later like six or eight months later like it kind of came back to my mind randomly intuition um hey you should probably try and figure that out so i started looking into how to create a journal like how to get it out there how to like publish it how to get it in other people's hands so that they can use this you know in their life 
um, some people might find it helpful. So uh, when I started looking into that, I found that this like this was a whole thing to create books and journals on Amazon. It doesn't cost you anything to, to start them. So um, if you have a great idea, you can do it. So I did it. I created it. I uploaded it. It's for sale on Amazon. Um, so that's what started it. So it is, like I said, putting an intention before you go to sleep, writing what that intention is, and then waking up the next morning. So uh, here, I'll show you. This is the before you go to bed, and this is the when you wake up. So before you go to bed, you kind of, as I prepare to enter the dream world, I give my guides permission to show me, and then you write it down. Write down your intention. It makes it so much more meaningful when you put pen to paper. It's like you're connecting your your spirit with your body, and you're putting it in tangible form, if that makes sense. And then the next page is um, the morning of. You wake up. And you write down and it has some prompts, you know, for things that may have popped up for you that you can write down so that you can kind of associate them. And like I said, the more you do it, the better you become at it. So there's that. The Tarot Journal, also my creation. And so is the Crystal Collection Log. So um, I'm going to draw a winner for each of those and a reading. Here's what you got to do. Leave me a comment and tell me which one you like the best. Um that's how I will know, you know, who's going to win what. And um, yeah, I will draw the winner around the full moon, which I believe is March 9th, which is also the end of Mercury retrograde um, around that time period. So uh, good time to pick a winner, I think. Um, but yes, leave a comment explaining that. Um, I'll leave a link to the Amazon page if you're interested in looking at the books a little bit further so you know what you're getting into. Um, but yeah, thank you again for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers. I'm so happy to be here, and I'm happy you're here too. And uh, best of luck in the giveaway. Have a blessed day.